All new at five, another bank account takeover. This one involves a new ATM card, a personal ID number, and nearly five grand. New Six investigator Mike Holfeld is in the newsroom with more on this for us, Mike. Thanks, Lisa. Good evening. This story is about an ATM card never ordered by the victims, then used by a mystery impostor to steal, well, to steal a lot of money. The thing is, it could happen to any of us, and that's why this couple is sharing their story tonight. Who's taking this money out? We aren't. Elisa and Wayne Kubright are going public with a personal banking mystery with a $5,000 punchline. They can get $5,000 every single time they use a card and they have 20 cards. It's a lot of money. It's never just one and done. Special agent in charge Caroline O'Brien Buster says Secret Service agents are currently investigating more than 30 bank account takeovers in Central Florida alone. Everyone at home watching. Are they all vulnerable to this? Everyone's vulnerable to identity theft or account takeovers. That's why it's so important for you to be cognizant of what you have in your account. In this case, the Kubrights checking account was nearly cleared out by someone using Wayne's debit card and PIN. When they told me it was me, I said, I asked for, can I see the picture or you take the picture and compare? We don't have photographs yet. But we do have a paper trail confirming two e-withdrawals totaling nearly $5,000 were executed inside a Chase Bank on March 9th. The withdrawals were just four minutes apart. The PIN code authorized. How did this person know and get the PIN? How did they get the PIN? We do have one clue. The bank told Elisa Kubright a new ATM card was ordered for overnight delivery via UPS on March 8th. This UPS proof of delivery reports something was delivered to their home in Orlando March 9th, 2.51 p.m., quote, left at the front door. That's roughly 30 minutes before the first e-withdrawal. So did you ever ask for a replacement card? No, sir. Neighborhood security cameras show a U.S. mail truck on their street that day, but there's no sign of a UPS vehicle. And the Kubrights say they never received a debit card. In fact, they restricted the account to stop any further theft. It didn't work. How does it happen when we close this card on Wednesday, March 9th? How is he even able to reopen the card? The very next day, someone reopened the account, and while the Kubrights were actually sitting in the Lee Vista branch looking for answers, the mystery thief was using the card again at another Chase branch. Think he's still out there doing it again to other people? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we agree. In an email to me today, Mrs. Cobright right in part, we were lucky and I had all the alerts on my banking apps, otherwise this person would have wiped us out in five to six days. Because of that, Chase Bank returned every single dollar. But we're not done. News 6 has shared everything in this case with the Secret Service, and I can tell you tonight there is evidence we're waiting on right now that may help us track down the people behind this. So the final word from the newsroom to you, check your accounts every day. That's pretty bold to go inside a bank or to any bank and use, you know, yeah. a stolen ATM card. There's got to be video of this suspect out there. All right. Yeah, Mike, thank you Listen, so much. I promise you we'll have it very soon. All right, we appreciate that.